Hello YouTube, it is brownie time. And today we're going to play a little bit of Dragon Ball Z Xeniverse. Uh, I'm actually playing this on the controller. You can play it on the um, keyboard. I think this may have been ported over from Xbox. Uh, console to me. But it's a bit of a blast from the past, seeing as I love watching the Dragon Ball Z uh, cartoons. So in this Dragon Ball Z game, you get to create your own character, so you can choose from a wide range of the various um, species and aliens that are on um, that are in the Dragon Ball Z universe. So you have uh, Namex. Uh, which Piccolo's Namek, or Namekin, or however you call him. Uh, you can choose to be human. Yeah, that's Piccolo. Um, you can also choose to be Saiyan, which is probably what most people go for. Uh, you can also choose to be um, oh, Freezer's race, but I cannot remember what they are called. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty standard controls. Uh, you get a lot of the traditional um, key attacks. Such as, like the map punch and the Gallic gun. Uh, I, I'm not too high in the levels. Uh, I've done quite a few of the missions. I'm up to the cell missions. So I'm, I've beaten Freezer. Uh, now I'm trying to beat Cell, which. It's actually quite hard, to be honest. So yeah, you level up as you do that. You get skill points, which you can put into various attributes, such as your health, your stamina, your basic attacks, um, and your like key attacks, which are obviously your kind of hammer has and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so there you go. I've mastered a skill, which is a super attack, evil rise, strike. Uh, you can select which ones you want. You can't have them all, obviously. That would be a bit um, OP. But you can have... Uh, um, let's just show you here. Change skill set. Uh, you can have the super attack. All these various ones. So you click on the one and then you can change it. Kamahamaha, I didn't realise I had that. When did I unlock that? But obviously I'm going to change to that. Um, I have the Gallic Gun. That's the one that Breeze and I think Vegeta uses it as well. Uh, Super Attack after image. I don't, I don't think that actually did much. If you time this right you can block any attack. Yeah, I didn't really use that one too well. So I'm going to change this one. Map Punch. Map Punch is a good one if you're up close. Uh, Evil Ray Strike. Uh, I'll have to test that one, I don't really remember using it. They have the super attacks and you have the ultimate attacks, so on the console you hold down one of the triggers for the super attack, well it's the right trigger, and then the ultimate attacks you hold down both. And then the evasive skill. Uh, ascend rapidly near, nearly vanishing to escape enemy attacks. Reach me with telekinesis. I'll leave this. Yeah, you can also change character's equipment, so you can change the clothing. Uh, somehow you change the colour of it, I haven't actually looked into that one yet. Uh, so you can have the scouters, uh, I have... I only also have a Goku wig. I look strangely too much like Goku there. I have the same eyes and everything. But yeah, you get to customise all this stuff as well as when you set up your character, you can customise the hair, the colour, the eyes, and obviously the race, or the uh, alien species. And then you can go into the shops, which are on... Get the right button here, where is it? I do know which button it is somehow. There we are. So this is the lobby. Uh, you can do this in single player or in multiplayer. So in this bit you have uh, the various um, online battles, offline battles, co-op battles. Uh, you can also challenge people. Industrial sectors where you have all the shops, so you can buy Items that you can mix together to make various potions, well not potions, but you, you know, the healing remedies and stuff like that. 
Um, you have the item shop, the clothing shop, and the accessory shop. Uh, then in the plaza of time, that's where you go to do world championship matches, which can be against other players. Uh, you also have the area with the Dragon Balls, which obviously when you collect them all, you get to summon the dragon. Uh, what was I saying? I was talking about the uh, map. I the phone, so I don't know what I was saying. Uh, yeah, you can uh, call the dragon when you get the Dragon Balls. I'm not sure it, when that happens in the uh, the campaign. So I've only got so far into it, so I haven't finished it. Um, you can also use the uh, the gift stations to send gifts to your friends who are on here, and that's where they collect them from. Yeah, that was just kind of a quick introduction to Dragon Ball Z X Universe, or if it's called Dragon Ball X Universe. Anyway, see all these players with the white names they are actually players ones with the blue are like uh ai uh you can also go to the, like the main characters in the game so here's piccolo uh somewhere around here is um raditz i think it's called um and you have like vegeta and stuff and you can actually approach them and they'll give you missions and you can also become their student so they'll train you and be your master and they'll give you if you do the missions and get a good score then they'll actually give you various items of clothing or um their skill sets so i did uh the i trained with vegeta for a bit and he gave me i think it was a gallic gun which was one of his um powers uh he also gave me a few little bit of clo clothing, and I also got uh, skill points to spend. So you can spend the boost attributes, that's with, this is where you, you, uh, you get your skill points and you spend them from here. Uh, I should actually work on my stamina a bit. So I'm um, pretty happy with the basic attacks. Uh, the strike super hours and key blast super hours I could do work on. The stamina is probably one of the main ones in a minute. Yeah, that's just a quick introduction to the game. Might do... Uh, Few little matches, uh, videos of the various offline battles and maybe a few online battles in the future. If you enjoyed the video then please hit that like button, comment down below on what your thoughts to the game are or if you're a big time fan of the Dragon Ball uh, cartoons or games then let me know about that. And last but not least if you haven't subscribed then please do hit that big red button below, it's completely free and you just get updated when I put up videos and also you help support the channel. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and I shall see you in the next video. See you later guys. <laughs>